All right, YouTube, uh, and all internet forums that may yet see this video. So, there have been a couple of videos just that have part of the mess in the background and rearranging my apartment. There have been a couple of videos, or internet articles in general lately, that I've read, and one of them that got my attention was these people taking this this uh, homeless guy's dog from him. It was a dog or a puppy. Um, I don't have access to the article right now. It was big enough. You guys can Google it. And I'm not enough of a YouTuber to go dig into the link. Uh, but it's more the concept that I'm pointing at anyway. Now, for those of you who don't know and can't tell from my ridiculously G.I. Joe-esque haircut and maybe a few of my previous videos or any other media form you've seen me in, as I do a little bit in the here and there, um, I'm a military veteran. I'm ex-U.S. Army, and I've seen... In deployment zones, when we're away from home, I've seen the stray animals that troops befriend or care for. Uh, I've seen homeless vets who go out of their way to take better care of their pets than they do themselves. They treat those pets like those dogs and cats they keep while they're homeless. Um, they go out of their way. What money they get goes to feed and care for that animal. They take them to things like the Humane Society, etc., to care for those animals. They, they go out of That animal might outlive them, to tell you the truth. And I saw these animal rights activists take this, this homeless man's puppy away. Now, I don't remember if he was a fat or not, but fuck them. It was found that the animal was healthy, fed, up to date, you know, etc. It was fun. So this is the problem that's getting out of hand right now. Like, you know, America, we got our problems. There are people who don't observe animal rights. There are people who don't observe social human rights. Etc. And I get it. We, we have some stuff we have to fix. Now, I got two little dogs. I'm going to introduce you. Boys, come here. Come here. Come here. This is Bandit. Come here, buddy. Okay. This is Bandit. Can look right there. That's Bandit, and the one in the background that would not get closer to me is Fox, because he's a little bit more reserved. Now, I, these guys have been with me through some turmoil from my Army career to the time I was, you know, that I'm still in college right now. They've been with me through some crap, and I have gone hungry days that I've been broke, because when you're between veteran status and college, a lot of companies won't hire you, because you don't have a lot of time for them, and they... They look at you as potentially overqualified for certain things, etc. I'm not going to get into the semantics of that. But uh, they've been with me through some shit when other veterans, blood family, and friends have, have not been able to help me. And uh, these are my buddies. You take them away from me, I'm going to jail because I'm going to hurt you. And they're fed for, they have their shots, etc. Even though I struggle. And I've gone hungry a few days. I've been broke just to go get them food. And I've had days where my car was not in great maintenance. And I walked on my lunch break in my freaking uncomfortable dress shoes that I use right now in my sales job to get them food. So that whole lecture aside, if you see someone smacking the crap out of their animal or leaving it alone to fend for itself and barely feeding it and not giving it water and not taking it off for a bathroom break or something... Sorry about that. Laundry. Uh, this just inspired me to say now, and I think honestly there needs to be more quick inspiration in human ingenuity or human honesty and uh, genuine behavior than it needs to be like rehearsed, produced content on YouTube. Anyway, um, if someone's neglecting their dog intentionally, they're making no effort to treat it like it's part of their family. A dog, a cat, a rabbit, a snake, a ferret, a bird, who gives it, you know, who gives a damn? If you have an animal that you brought into your, your home, your residence, your household, your family life, and you treat it like it's one of these posters I have here, or you treat it like it's a blender or an oven, just, just something to have around, screw you, give it to someone who's going to love it. If you see someone who's maybe struggling but still taking care of their pets and you try to step in and, and get all high and mighty, screw you. I don't think you're a human being. Um, so to the people who took the dog but then were, you know, gave it back, because they were socially forced to, by the way. They didn't do it because it was the right thing to do. They did it because somebody of law or somebody of social pressure above them said, give the fucking dog back. Um, screw them. 
And if you're one of them, screw you. Leave people alone with their animals, with their pets. And let me catch you messing with me and my dogs. We're going to find out which one of us puts a better hurt on the other. Uh, that being said, I don't know. I feel like I needed to say that. That seemed very appropriate to say. Pardon the glare of my glasses. I'm not a professional YouTuber, but uh, I felt like that needed to be said. For those of you who watched and heard it out, thank you. Appreciate you taking the time to watch my video.